It's one thing to buy clothes that look nice, but it's another thing to do your part to make sure they stay that way. Caring for your garments and washing them properly is one of the most important things, and I always recommend that you actually read the care instructions before you purchase anything online, or read the care label of a garment before you purchase anything in store. Because if you don't properly care for your garments, they're not gonna look like that over time. And you wanna make sure that you're willing to step up and take care of your garments the right way. So you really wanna make sure that you're using safe detergent, you're abiding by the directions on the care Care labels, you're using the right temperature water, the right cycle, all of these things to make sure that your garments are going to last and look beautiful for a very, very long time. In my professional experience, white t-shirts have been the hardest, most difficult garments to make last and to clean and to keep them white, but I feel like I finally boiled down the science on how to perfectly hand wash or machine wash a white t-shirt. But before you do that, you have to know a couple of things. First, it starts off with having a rotation of white t-shirts, so this way you're not washing and wearing the same one, two, or three over and over and over again. Because what that's gonna do is that's actually gonna accelerate yellowing, staining, and just overall aging over time. What you wanna do is you wanna have the rotation so this way you're not putting too much stress on one shirt and you're making sure that you're cleaning it before it starts yellowing and you're not really giving a chance for any bacteria to settle in and alter the color or weaken the fiber of the shirt. So it all really starts off with the rotation and it also starts off with how long you wait before you wash your t-shirt, which should be no more than a a couple of days. Basically what I do is once I've worn my full rotation of about four or five t-shirts, I immediately wash them all together at the same time just to make sure that none of them are lying out too long and picking up deodorant stains, bacterial stains. The trick here is to really prevent the aging and washing them before you're allowing anything to set. So let's start with the hand washing technique. It is the best method when cleaning any luxury garment, not just white t-shirts. But basically what I do is I always, always, always use a really nice cold water and I dissolve about an eighth of a cup of color safe detergent. I happen to use the Mersby Schwannin natural fiber detergent that's safe for cottons, linens, anything natural. They have this really nice detergent that doesn't harm the fiber. It's safe. It doesn't harm the environment and it also has no bleaching agents, very minimal additives and preservatives, basically only the necessities. And basically Mersby Schwannin actually recommends that you always use color safe detergent as opposed to whitening detergent, even for white t-shirts because because these bleaches can actually accelerate yellowing and remove the brilliance of the white t-shirts that you buy. So detergents like these are actually safe and protect the luminous white, which ensures a clean looking t-shirt that looks just as good as the day you bought it. Then what you wanna do is you wanna make sure that you turn the t-shirt inside out. You always wanna turn everything inside out to make sure that while you're hand washing, you can get rid of all the detergent, any sweat, anything. Basically all of the grime is gonna be on the inside and this is simultaneously protecting the outer layer from any abrasion and from any grime or deodorant in the entire load. Basically what I like to do is I like to take the fabric and rub it on itself wherever there's a stain because that is the safest way to make sure that you can agitate and activate the detergent without ruining the fibers and for removing any deodorant clusters, any sauce stains, any type of stain. And then what I would do is I would just agitate the water, let it soak in the shirt, drain it out, add some fresh water, and then do the same thing, rinse and repeat. And basically I would just do this up until my desired cleanliness until for the most part, the water is completely clean. And then what I would do is I would strain out the water and I never, ever, ever hang dry or put a t-shirt or anything knit on a hanger because knits are not meant to be put on hangers. Knits have to lay flat and they have to dry on a towel. Otherwise you're gonna ruin the shape and you really can't save a knit that's ruined from hanging on a hanger. So always make sure that you flat dry your knits, whether they're sweaters, t-shirts, anything like that. You wanna make sure you put it on a towel and let it air dry flat. The other method, which is the method that I most commonly use, is I start off by turning the t-shirt inside out, just like the hand wash method, but then I put it into the washer with the rest of the load, and I make sure that I use the coldest setting possible, and at most, I put the cycle on a low medium cycle, and as soon as the machine is done, I take the t-shirts out, I check them, I make sure that they're to my desired cleanliness, and whatever needs to go back in will go back in. Usually by this time, you really don't have to do that, but if something needs to go back in, then put it back in, and then take everything else out and do the same thing with the towel dry, lay it flat, leave it overnight, and make sure to never, ever, ever hang your knits. If you want to tumble dry your shirts, you can, but on the lowest possible heat and on the lowest possible cycle. Sometimes I do this if I have to, if I'm on vacation and it's an emergency and I need it quick, or if I get a shirt that's brand new and it's not pre-shrunk, I like to put it into the dry cycle at least twice. Again, not too hot because I want to remove the shrinkage, and then every other washing after that, I like to flat dry because you 
really don't want to shrink the shirt too much. You just want to remove the natural shrinkage, which is going to happen anyways. And then once these shirts are dry, what you want to do is you want to keep them inside out. And when you're going to iron them, you want to make sure you put it on the cotton setting and you want to make sure that your iron has no dirty water in it, no smudges, nothing dirty on it. And then once you're sure that the iron is safe, you just want to apply light steam and heat to the shirt to get any of the wrinkles out. Higher quality shirts like the Mersby Schwannen tend to really easily iron so you don't have to do that much work. And then after that, you're done. You have a beautiful t-shirt that's basically just as white as the day you bought it. And for example, this shirt on the right is a Mersby Schwannen shirt that I've worn probably about 15 to 20 times and has gone through just as many washes. And this Mersby Schwannen shirt on the left is a brand new white t-shirt that's just out of the box, never washed, never worn. It's only been factory packaged. And the difference is really almost imperceptible. And the only way that you achieve this is by caring for your garments and making sure that you abide by the care labels and you treat your garments with the same love and passion as you treated them when you first bought them. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate the love and support. And thank you so much, Mersby Schwannen, for sending me this detergent. And guys, if you haven't checked out my Mersby Schwannen t-shirt review, make sure to go check it out up here. It's a really nice, fun, and in-depth video. And it really shows you the difference between loop wheel cotton and basically every other t-shirt that exists. And guys, I've been loving the feedback that y'all have been giving me. And it's really helping me improve and get excited to make these videos. We're almost at 2,000 subs, which is literally crazy to me because we just hit 1,000. I can't even remember. It's officially, I think, been a year since I've started this channel or since I've restarted this channel with this kind of content. Honestly, it's been one of the funnest and most pivotal journeys that I've embarked on. And I'm so happy that I'm on this journey with you guys. So with that being said, thank you guys again, and I'll see you next week.